everybody. So after testing out the products from the March Glossy Box and Ipsy for about a week now, I wanted to hurry up and do a really quick review of the 10 products that came in the mail. So I figured I'd start out with the Ipsy. Um, again, this is the bag um, that I got. There were three different like color combos that you could have. I know when I filmed the unbagging for this I wasn't totally sure but this is just one of the three bags that you could have. They're all the same pattern but just different color combinations. So we'll start out with the Ultra Repair the Hydrating Serum Lotion. Um, I've already reviewed this product from a glossy box that I got a couple months ago but in case you haven't seen it, I really, really like this lotion. It's really great to have like in the bottom of your purse or backpack or whatever you're carrying. Um, it goes on really smooth. It doesn't have a really strong smell. It's, it's very faint and it's a clean, nice smell. Um, what I like about it, it doesn't leave my hands really, really oily or greasy afterwards. So it's a really nice, effective lotion that doesn't make my hands like leave really oily fingerprints like on my phone or something as I'm using it so it definitely it like sinks into the skin really quickly and it's just nice to use so I really liked it I'm glad this is in the ipsy bag but I have already tested this out before the next thing I'll go over is the I totally messed up the pronunciation last time I'm gonna try Iyamasqua I think um, this is a liquid eyeliner, and it's not a pen, it has the applicator in it. I really like eyeliners like this, I know a lot of people are, um, they're more of a fan of the pens. I like this one just as much as I like, you know, like the Kat Von D tattoo liner and stuff like that. This one works really well specifically. It went on really well, and... Even as the day went on, a lot of times in, you know, in the corners of my eyes, if I do a really big wing, um, the water from my eyes will kind of wear away at the, the very corners of where I'm applying the eyeliner. This one stayed all day, and I even slept in it a couple times to see just how long-lasting it was, and it lasted all night. So, you know, I woke up with perfect wings because it didn't smear, it didn't smudge, and it didn't fade. So this works really well. I, I love this eyeliner. So here is the Luxie brush. Again, it's the short shader, um, an eyeshadow brush. This company is awesome. It's a great brush company. Um, their brushes are really pretty, they're really soft, and they're easy to clean. Um, I'll also be reviewing another one of these types of brushes, well, not types, but this brand of brush in the Glossy Box in a minute. Um, but really quickly, these this brand is great. There's hardly any fallout, you know, most of the color payoff, you know, is not staying on the brush. It's, you know, going on your eyes or in the Glossy Box, in that case, um, that's a face brush, so it's going on your face. There are some brushes that I just feel hold the you know, the eyeshadow, the blush, the whatever you're applying with the brush, it holds it in it. So with this, a lot of product is coming off on the brush and then it's easy to apply to the face. It's not sticking in the brush. Um, so I really, really like these and I'm super happy that I have two more brushes this month. The next thing is the Olive Oil Eye Cream. It's anti-aging and hydrating. Again, I don't know if this is working. Um, I mean, my skin feels a little softer, but I can't really talk about the anti-aging properties of this cream. It does, the more I used it, the more I noticed that I kind of smelled like olive oil, or at least I felt I did. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm applying it in my eyes. My nose is right here. Maybe that's why. But I, it's not that I'm not a fan of the smell of olive oil, but I don't want to walk around smelling that way. So I was a little, I don't know, more apt to not want to really use this because I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of the smell and also I'm not sure if it's really working. Um, you know, if it works for you, great. I just, 
you know, take it or leave it with this. I'm not a huge fan. So the last thing in the Ipsy this month was the Model Company Lip Lacquer in the color Socialite. This smells amazing and it's a really pretty color. Um, it's really nice. It's kind of iridescent so that there's a little bit of sparkle without it being glittery, I guess. And I really like it. A little of this goes a long way so even though it's kind of a smaller tube, um, I feel like I could be using this for a while. I really like it. And it's nice to actually put over something um, that's matte because it's a little see-through so the, sh the color is going to shine through but um, you're just going to have a different finish on it which is really great. So this one was a really nice um, lip color to have in here. Moving on to the glossy box. So the first thing I believe that I pulled out of the glossy box was the I Love Coconut and Cream um, hand lotion. This is a really big sample. I'm really loving this sample. It smells great and again, just like the hand cream and the Ipsy, it doesn't leave my hands feeling really oily and greasy after I use it, which I'm such a stickler about. I really hate that when I have a nice hand lotion but it leaves me feeling like the lotion isn't completely rubbed in. So this doesn't have that problem. It did leave my hands really soft. I um, lately have been having kind of like cracked cuticles and stuff like that just from the the changing of the weather and you know the dry air and stuff like that and this definitely helped kind of relieve that and patch up some of the cracks that I had and kind of make it where you know I'm a lot less likely to have that happen so this is a really great hand lotion I really like it. The next thing is another liquid eyeliner. This one is the pen though. It looks and actually works just like the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I mean there I barely had to press down to get a lot of color to come out which is a problem that I have with a lot of the eyeliner pens like this. Um, you know I feel like I'm pressing down really hard on my eye to kind of like get the color out there. Um, this one works really great without hardly touching it. You know, there's a really nice thick full line. And again, this one stays on really well. Um, I hardly had to touch it up and even when I did, like I said, it's in the corners right here. It's not like I'm losing color at the end of the wing or even like the middle of my eye. It just, it works really well and it's so easy to use. I have to say, when I first started using a pen, I wasn't really great at it at first. I wish I had this because it would have made it a lot easier. This is just an easy pen to use and I love it. Um, so this is from Ico London and it's a really, really great um, liquid eyeliner. I'm really glad that I have this. Next we have the Vine Vera. It's like a under eye cream skin moisturizer, skin moisturizer, uh, face moisturizer. Um, I actually had two of these, so this one I actually haven't opened yet because I'm still finishing off the first one. This one was nice. It made my face feel a little oily though after I used it, which made me feel like I needed to wash it again. Um, which was something that I didn't really like about it, but I think overall like my face did feel a lot smoother. Um, but it was tempting to want to wash it off at first. After like an hour or so of having it on, it was less annoying, I guess. It mostly made me feel oily like around my nose and a little bit on my forehead, so mostly the T-zone. But, you know, so after an hour of having it on there, that dissipated. But it was really, really tempting to just wash it off. So it worked, but it was slightly uncomfortable for a little while having it on my face. Next is the, I believe, yes, the large angled face brush. I've been using this for my contour every day and I keep saying that these brushes are easy to clean because they really don't hold the color in them. Like, they're really great in applying the makeup to my face. So after using it straight for a week and cleaning it, it just, it feels and it looks like new still. And I know that a week isn't a long time, so you're probably thinking, well, of course, it still feels new because it is basically new. But I've had brushes that I've dished out quite a bit of money on 
where after a week even washing it and being very kind to them there's fallout and they're rough and just crappy brushes so these again Luxie is amazing the last project this month is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Melted Chihuahua. I really love these liquid lipsticks. They go on so well and, you know, they're really pretty actually. I know that that doesn't mean much, like the, you know, the tube, whether it's pretty or not, but I really, really like them. I'm wearing the color right now. It's one of my new favorite lipsticks. Um... And Too Faced is just a great brand, so I'm so happy that these were in here because people go nuts over these. So it was really awesome to open up the glossy box and have one of these products in it. And this is one of my favorite colors from this line. So overall, like these are just great lipsticks, and I wish I had every single color from the line because they're amazing. So I have to say this month, I'm super pumped about the brushes, and I really, really like this lip liquid lipstick. Um... If I had to really go into the products that I didn't like, in each box, well, each subscription, I should say, um, was the face moisturizers and, like, under eye cream sort of things. I'm just not really impressed by these, and this one was slightly uncomfortable to wear, and this one made me smell like spaghetti. So, overall, two really, really great, um bag and box. They were really good this month. Um, there was only two products, one from each that I wasn't a fan of. And I'm really pumped for next month. So that's all for my review for this month's Glossy Box and Ipsy. And I will see you in my next video.